so welcome back and now in this video we are going to understand about auth0 a little bit auth0 uses auth protocol which allows you to integrate a user management uh, mechanism user management service you can say it can manage all your users through the database connections and that will allow you to the login mechanism and that will give you some access token id token with the refresh and all the, the different stuff okay it's like uh, authentication provider auth0 uh, by octa okay so here what we are doing is we are going to populate a auth0 session data in the next auth okay so let's say if uh, this when you are integrating it this next auth is getting the access token from the auth0 then we need to manage it in the side a session in such a way that i can access that access token and i can just call the external services passing that access token inside authorization header because I need to show that I'm already a logged in user and that I can show only if I have the valid authorization header. Okay, so you can have a external APIs built with the next JS Express, Koa, Hapi, or whatever the external uh, external or some different language. You need to have this uh, authorization header in the next auth session that you can forward and call the external service this is what our target is this is what we are trying to achieve and here first of all what we will do is we will create an application so this is my auth0 dashboard so this dashboard if you are looking at this for the first time then it is nothing but uh, either you can say at google developer console twitter developer console what google developer console allows you is you create an application then you can use the sign in you can configure your own application like you are building a product you want to allow a feature build a feature login with the google what you are doing you need to provide a google client id and a secret so that your application your blah blah dot com product can allow start allowing users to log in with the google because when you click uh, click on login with the google it's same uh, this auth uh, authorization mechanism starts it will you need to give a consent because your application is trying to access your google uh, prop information like your username email and some publicly available properties because you have given a consent so it will access your profile information and it will store that in your database and allow user to log in because it is also returning some access token or something same thing we are doing with auth0 in auth0 we are creating an application we are creating users so user already exist in some cases when you do the login with the username password this auth0 because an auth0 it's auth0 is same as the google and on auth0 you need to give a consent to your application when you are doing a login that okay i wanted to share my information to this application so we need to create that application here it is the same concept which is there on the twitter developer console github developer console google developer console you create a simple application and uh, when you integrate this when you when, uh, when that uh, end user clicks on login with the google that google will ask that end user are you giving me the consent to share this information with this third party application which is configured on the google if yes okay i will pass your information and uh, that will somehow generate access token for you so this is what we need to follow we need to create uh, this regular web application okay not the the native or mobile cli application i think okay so this is the regular web application and here you can see this uh, next js i can see that clearly there and what i will do is i will just create i will just delete this one because i didn't create this setup properly so i will create a udemy v2 a new application which is a regular web application and I will call them it as a Udemy v2 and I will choose uh, next yes because uh, that will give me the instructions how to set up all these things it has already created a client id and a secret you can see there is a domain client id and a secret and this is how you need to configure we are using next auth so this will be a little different you don't need to go through all this information but next auth underneath is also doing same kind of thing okay so here we need to configure the origin the logout url the callback url and all so for the callback url you need to you can just take the reference 
uh, how it looks like web origin is localhost the port where you are running it and allow logout url should be the localhost 3000 and this is the callback url that is important you need to configure this properly api auth callback auth0 if you are doing something wrong here the auth0 application will start throwing error because you are connecting this callback callback is nothing but this is a api route configured on the neck using next auth so when you log in you give a consent it is going to feed the data to our next gs api server to that particular route okay so this is api auth callback auth0 you created a application and then here uh, once the application is created we are going to copy the stuff so here i just configured the logo and all these things i already have a domain and i, I will just use the client id and a secret and both these things are enabled i mean once you once you configure this client id with your uh, uh, with your auth0 provider you can log in with the either database username password or you can also log in with the gmail here the social providers we can add we can even add the enterprise uh, connections like okay login with azure ad adfs or uh, azure ad or uh, saml sso and all these things we can configure in the enterprise connections okay so this is pretty much we have we have created an application on auth0 portal which will give us the client id and secret that we need to configure with the next auth so this is what we need to do we need to pass the client id secret and the issuer url okay so first we need to add the next auth in the pnpm dependencies i added a next auth uh, library and i need to create this route so this, these are like the basic steps how to configure next auth with the next js the first thing it will ask you okay create this api route inside api you need to create a auth inside that create a next auth so there is a spread operator inside the bracket next auth dot ts inside next auth folder you can create a route dot ts and inside this you will just define all the code like next auth options it should be able to handle the get and post request and we are going to create a next auth options inside a lib folder so these are the next auth options uh, auth options and then we are going to create a next auth provider auth0 provider so inside auth0 auth0 options what we are passing session providers so providers can be many not even like auth0 you can have a google provider github provider auth0 provider credential provider and all those things so i have configured a provider which is taking client id client secret and uh, issuer url and you can also specify the audience id token and all i will see what is required because what is giving me the right set of data based on that i will just clean this up and this this system whatever i'm writing that holds that is also applicable you can you will be doing the same thing with airbnb clone uh, there we are going to create a next CS and integrating next auth uh, to the API route. So here we are adding the callbacks like session callback and a JWT. So we are just writing auth0 options like how this whole uh, authentication with the uh, next auth will work. Like what all different information we are going to populate in the next auth session. So these callback decides that. So session, like whenever you are getting a, when you, whenever you are trying to access the session, what session should hold post login? Like it should hold my access token and uh, ID token and the JWT. So these two callbacks are important that uh, takes care of like what all properties you wanted to populate. So these are like standard callbacks, which is provided by the next auth. So here we are checking account if account is there then get the access token from the account and set it on the token and return the token the same token can be used inside a session callback to access the session properties so here this is the secret i'm using next auth secret and these are the callback and this is the provider okay so this is pretty much about the next auth options we have 
and let me see if uh, we need we are missing something because i'm just using the reference to populate and to do all those things so here we are just passing all these options we are passing the secret we are passing the using the session strategy jwt now what we can do is we need to populate the your env right we already have a client id and a client secret right we have created application on auth0 dashboard and we have configured the callback url origin and the logout url now we need all these different options i think there are four or five attributes we need to configure auth0 issue not next auth secret and next auth url these are the standard ones okay so that we need to configure and we need to get started and let's see this uh, in action in the next video we just copy the client id and a client secret